Coming up, I'm gonna share a couple of free tools you can use to get keyword data for ASO and increase your downloads. Stay tuned. What is up, App Nation? It is Steve P. Young, founder of AppMasters.co, the place you go when you want action-packed content in the app business. And today, I wanna share a couple of different tools. I've been hearing a lot from the audience about, hey, I can't afford to use mobile action. I can't afford to use Sensor Tower because in my advanced ASO tricks, I do tell you to use both, but I know a lot of people can't do that. And frankly, a lot of people that I talk to, they need the free tools to help them sort of get that traction, that early traction, so that they can start making money and then afford to pay for these tools. So if you're in that boat, then this is the video for you. I'm gonna show you two free tools that you can use to get some keyword data because the way we approach ASO is completely based on data. That's how we've been able to really increase downloads for our clients is everything is data driven, right? We find the right keywords, we find low competition keywords, and then based off the data that we see, we use those keywords to increase downloads, both on Google Play and on iOS. Now this video, I'm gonna share the Google Play stuff a little bit later, but on this video, I'm gonna focus more on the iOS side. So without further ado, let's go into the screen share. So here is this massive spreadsheet that I put together for all our clients, and this is our app, my app that we put together. And so I don't mind sharing this data, but as you can see, everything is data driven. So we got a ton of keywords down here, all the way about 100 plus keywords. We've got data from two different sources, Sensor Tower and Mobile Action. We've got the traffic scores, we've got the search score, we've got the difficulty. And the highlighting green are just keywords that I've deemed to be low competition. So anything under a three for Center Tower, and then anything under over 70 on chance for mobile action, okay? I think I have this sorted somewhere. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Okay, so as you can see, actually, what I wanna highlight here is, let's get all the low difficult keywords. So according to Center Tower, right? As you can see, most of them have very little apps, right? So a part of the difficulty score is gonna be the number of apps that show up for that particular keyword. Right? So as you can see, like they're usually under 200. Now there are times when like this, this keyword, SHH, -H, it both platforms are telling me sort of low competition, but there's 370. And you can see, I don't really rank that well for it. But when there's only a couple of different apps like this particular keyword, I'm number two and using it in the Spanish Mexico localization. So you can see like keywords that have a smaller number of apps showing up tend to be low competition. So I'm gonna sort this too, just to give you another visual. As you can see like these highlighted greens, they only have a few apps that show up and you're trying to find these type of keywords, right? A lot of good traffic and not many apps that actually show up for that particular one. And I'm number two for that particular keyword, right? So these are things that you're trying to find. So essentially, if you know the number of apps, you can get a pretty good sense of the difficulty of a keyword, right? So here's how we're gonna do this. So how do we find the difficulty, the first step? So I'm gonna go into App Annie and then figure out the keywords. Now, if you've already built this long list that I have over here, then you could throw these keywords in here, right? Now, you're gonna hit a limit, so be careful with that. There's only so much you can do if you're free, right? So pick some of the keywords out there. But App Annie, as of this day of recording, which is January 9th, they're having some difficulty with the keyword ranks. Usually these are all filled out, but I had to pick calm because it has some data. So essentially what you can do is you're gonna input your keywords here. So I can put in like, I don't know, thunderstorm sounds on here. And then App Annie will give you the data. And essentially what you're trying to find is the results. So the number of apps that show up for that particular term. And for these keywords, like Apple Watch Sleep app and then Sleep Cycle app, they have less. So you can get a sense that, hey, if there's less apps showing up for a particular keyword, it will likely have low competition. All right, that's a free way of doing it. Now, how do you find the actual like traffic score? Because again, we want keywords like this, Nightmare, Night Owl X, which is a 4.146, so really good traffic, really low competition, right? 
So you use Apple search ads, right? So I'm going to go to the campaign. I'm going to put in my app. It's a lot better when I have my apps because then I don't mind sharing any of this data for you guys. And then you need to have a tap. So I'll just throw in $1 just for the tap. And you can put in these keywords, right? Like Night Owl X. 47, 48. Now I have a plugin that I will link up into the show notes of this too installed that gives me these actual scores. If you don't have the plugin, you're actually just going to see a blue bar. Now you can put in keywords here too, and Apple will give you the search score. So you have the search score, you have the number of apps that show up, and now you have a good sense of, all right, if there's a, only two apps that show up for this particular keyword, I know that I'm going to rank well for it. And then there's only, I mean, the, the search popularity of this particular keyword is really high. Now, Apple obviously knows which keywords are driving more volume and that's why they're showing me these keywords. And as you can tell, Night Owl X, I'm doing pretty well on him. And that, because I saw this keyword having really good scores, this is why I decided to name my app what I named, right? So essentially using data, if you watch my other video, how do you name your app for growth? is essentially using this type of formula, finding the search scores, like you're doing through search, the Apple search ads, and then using, I use a pay tool, but using, if you have to go free, but using App Annie to see the difficulty. And as you can see, like Thunderstorm Sounds, is another one that I've, we're number four on actually, and you can see the difficulty is 109. So there's only 109 other apps out there, and there's actually good search scores. So let me throw this in here as an example for you guys. Please don't go after that term too. I'm already going after it. I don't want to compete with you. As you can see 32, right? Like the really good traffic scores. And that's why we're going after this particular term because we saw that there's good traffic on this and low difficulty. All right, free, absolutely free. I do recommend using mobile action or sensor tower. It makes it a lot easier because you can just throw a ton of keywords in there and get all this crazy spreadsheet like I have. And it just saves you time. But if you're not quite there yet, those are the two free tools to check out. All right. Hope that was helpful. Look, guys, I also do want to promote a couple of different things. So if you're done, you're done, you're out. But if you want to stick with me, one thing is at Masters Connect, at Masters Connect, it is an event, a very intimate event where you can connect with some really successful app entrepreneurs. David Reichel is going to be speaking there. He made Color Switch. I got my friend Gonzalo, who runs a really successful business in the app space. They're all going to be speaking there, but it's an event. The reason why I have my business and we've done phenomenally well in 2017 is because I really surround myself with some awesome, positive, successful people. And that's what this event is about. It's about how you can connect with some really cool people and build lasting relationships. There's been a lot of people from our two events of last year, 2017, that still stay in touch this year. And that's what this event is about. How do you really build these connections that last way past the event. So if you want to be there, it is at mastersconnect.com at mastersconnect.com is a very low price is essentially our break even price for what we have to pay for the space and the food and all that other stuff and all the activities that we have planned. So I'm not looking to like really profit off this event. It's just something that I truly believe in. It's my mission statement. So at mastersconnect.com be there. The next thing is at Masters Academy. It's really cool. It's where we show you everything that we do for our clients, how we use these spreadsheets, how the different tools that we use and different hacks that we've kind of figured out. So if you want to learn about how to grow your organic downloads, how to get featured by Apple, how to use some of the paid acquisition stuff, which isn't my strong suit. I get people that I know in the space to come on and share how to do that. Well, it is all in appmastersacademy.com. We've organized it. If you checked out in the beginning, it's like, it was a big mess, but now it's completely organized. And I'm really, really proud of it because it shows you exactly what we do for our clients. And we'll go into detail of the certain things that we are highlighting here. So it is appmastersacademy.com. And if you haven't already hit subscribe, do so on the YouTube channel and leave a comment below or like this video. It's, it's what everybody does. So I have to start doing that too and leaving that at the end. All right, guys, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.